هسه خلينا نبدي بالشابتر 2 خلصنا الانترودكشن وخلصنا كيفيه التسجيل والشابتر 1 خلصنا شنو النظره عن يعني بعض الامور البسيطه عن النفط والغاز لكن شابتر 1 هسه شابتر 2 خلينا نشوف شابتر 2 بيرث اوف ان اندستري اه ولاده هاي الصناعه النفطيه تمام هسه صار عندنا شابتر 1 بعد تخطيناه هسه حتى لو اسوي تسجيل خروج وارجع انا واقف هنا لهالمكان هذا فيعني خلي خلي في بالك انه انت وين ما توصل بامكانك يمتى ما يعني لانه المده طويله كلش طويله The modern oil industry was born in 19th century America. Whale oil had been used to mine the streets, but this was becoming increasingly expensive as the whale population declined. We already used oil from natural seeps for lighting. It was not long before entrepreneurs began to actively search for oil. In search of oil. هم هنا أنا بدأوا يسوون شنو يسوون بحوثات. أنا هنا أنا مو بصدد الترجمة أو فشي لكن قاعد أعلمكم وقاعد أراويكم تجربتي بكيفية الحصول على شهادة الليفل 1 بالتفصيل إحنا قاعد نمشي خطوة خطوة Initially named Drake's Folly by his detractors Drake was vindicated on the 28th of August when his driller Billy Smith looked into the well in preparation for another day's drilling and was surprised to see crude oil rising up the well. Drilled the first successful well barrels a day and he sold his black gold for $20 a barrel. هذا حفر أول بئر شنو بنجاح through rock and produced crude oil وأنتج شنو وأنتج أنتج نفط زين Drake was vindicated on the uh, of August when his drill Billy so looked into the well in preparation for another day's drilling and was surprised to see crude oil rising up the well. Tamam. When the internal combustion engine was patented in 1861, it changed everything. From 1888, automobiles began to be manufactured in ever increasing numbers. This increased the demand for gasoline or internal petrol. Composition engine painted. بال 1861 increased manufacture of automobiles. زين. سنة شنو هاي؟ شوف هاي كل هالأمور قدامنا هاي على كل حال. The 1900s started with a crucial event in the history of the oil industry. On January the 10th, 1901, a well at Spindletop. A salt dome oil field located at Beaumont, Texas, struck oil at 1139 feet, sending a geyser of oil over 150 feet into the air. Drilled by Captain Anthony F. Lucas, Spindletop represented a major turning point for both Texas and the entire nation, as no previously discovered oil field in the world had ever been so productive. A number of conflicts in the early 20th century led nations to develop an insatiable need for oil for power and lubrication. Factories, steel making plants, you name it, everyone needed oil and its derivatives. By the 1940s, oil drilling had developed considerably. Development continued, but at a slower pace. The 1950s saw significant developments, especially in the Gulf of Mexico. Mobile offshore drilling units began to work there in water depths of up to 200 feet. Technological developments continued, especially in respect to drill bits and cements. It soon became common practice for workers to be taken to and back from the rigs by helicopter. Gas and oil began to be produced offshore from the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Once the 1960s arrived, jet engines, 
cars and the roads they drove on created an ever-increasing demand for oil. The refining processes were improved and the petrochemical industry began a new era. The 60s also saw an amazing new material enter the market, plastic. Plastics were a revolutionary new product which everyone wanted. The time for oil had come and nothing could stop it. Some significant achievements and events happened during the 1960s, including the first multi-platform complex in the US Gulf and offshore diving depths reaching 600 feet in 1967. Technological developments no. continued at an increased rate and exploration drilling became much more scientific. Technological advances were being made across the whole exploration and production fields from bits, drilling fluids, casing, cementing and BOP equipment to MWD tools. All these developments simply fueled the rate of exploration. Developments in technology, different geographical areas, deeper wells and deeper water all lead us to an increase in the risk of a major incident. <laughs> Most catastrophic oil field exploration and production incidents cause not just loss of life, but damage to the environment, bankruptcy, loss of jobs and loss of company reputation. In early 1969, Union Oil's platform A in the Dark Water Within a 10-day period, an estimated 80,000 to 100,000 barrels of crude oil spilled into the Santa Barbara Channel, Southern California. At the time of the incident, it was the largest oil spill in U.S. waters and still ranks third after the Deepwater Horizon and Exxon Valdez spills. third after Deepwater Horizon and Exxon Valdez. In the late 1980s, the world focused on the energy industry as a number of major incidents occurred. These were not all related to the exploration of oil and gas, but the significantly on there the were three in the late 1980s. A number of major An explosion incident, okay. and the subsequent fire at the Chernobyl nuclear facility on the 26th of April 1986 led to the world's worst nuclear accident to date. On the 6th of July 1988, an explosion and the resulting fire destroyed the Piper Alpha production platform in the North Sea. As a result of the disaster, 167 men lost their lives. And in the March of 1989, the Exxon Valdez tanker spilled its contents after running aground on the Bly Reef in Prince William Sound. The accident resulted in between 250,000 to 750,000 barrels of oil being spilled into the Alaskan waters. Located off the north coast of Australia, the Montara blowout started on the 21st of August 2009 and continued leaking for 74 days. It wasn't until the 3rd of November, on the fifth attempt, that the leak was finally plugged when approximately 3,400 barrels of drilling mud was pumped into a relief well to stop the leak. Thankfully, no lives were lost. <laughs> The Macondo blowout and its associated oil spill claimed 11 lives and is considered the largest accidental <laughs> marine oil spill in history. Following an explosion on the Deepwater Horizon on the 20th of April 2010, a seafloor oil gusher flowed for 87 days before being capped and declared sealed on the 19th of September 2010. The US government estimated that 4.9 million barrels of oil leaked into the Gulf of Mexico, causing extensive damage to marine and wildlife habitats for hundreds of miles of coastline. لازم انت فهمت كل الامور وطلعت عليها فمن الجواب لازم تجاوب شنو تجاوب بعناية where was the first well to بنزلفانيا اعتقد اي correct زين in what negate اي عقل of where mobile offshore drilling unit first used 
اعتقد بالخمسينات بالاربعينات الستين عاشور لو خمسين دوستين خلا اشوف والله كوركت بالخمسين شوف يعني هو فيديو يشرح لك اياه ويرجع بعدين يقول لك يا ابي شنو يعني المعلومه اللي حصلت وش دي جاين سو ذا انتروداكشن اوف ذا فيرست مالتي بلاتفورم اعتقد بالستينات كوركت There are a bit of drilling to deeper depth in deeper water on different geographical areas has resulted in an increased risk of blowout. صح. كل ما يزداد عندك التقدم والتطور بال شو اسمه يزداد الريسك. فهو يقول لك هنا أنا هاي يعني هاي العبارة صحيحة لو خطأ. Correct. زين. During the sixteenth, oil was used to satisfy the ever-increasing market for which product? Sixteenth, lubricating oil, diesel fuel, human. Sixteenth. خلينا نشوف كوركت فينيش شابتر 3 هاي جي هسه احنا هنا خلصنا شابتر 2